Hi, I'm Leona from s and and today we're going to be working with Art Resin. Now our Art Resin is a non-toxic uh, product. It comes in two parts and being non-toxic we can use it with um, surfaces that are going to con be come in contact with food such as like breadboards or any sort of item like that. Um, you can use it as we're going to with, an, with colouring the resin to make an artwork or you can also put plain resin over, or clear resin over the top of an artwork just to give it a really high gloss finish. So, you will mix the two equal parts of resin and hardener. Now they come in different sizes, um, so if you get a small um, kit, you might like to mix both uh, bottles complete but I'm just using the larger kit so I've just measured two um, two amounts now with this you have 45 minutes to work with this product once it's mixed so at the moment we're just going to mix the two products together for approximately three minutes to make sure it's all completely mixed so keep on going down the side of your cup doesn't matter if you get air bubbles in this because the um, blowtorch will actually take them out at the end. Now when we've um, finished mixing this, you can add different colourants to it. So today I'm going to use Atelier Free Flow, which is a concentrated acrylic. You can also use alcohol inks, uh, metallic powders, uh, quite a few different products. Now, three minutes is quite a long time because it actually makes your arm ache after a while. But you've got to make sure you mix the whole amount. While you're doing this, you can decide on what sort of colours you're wanting. With this particular one, I'm just going to do two colours, but you can use a multitude of them. Okay. Now I'm just going to decanter that into another cup. So I'm going to put a small amount into another cup and just divide it. So I'm going to mix those two into, I'm just going to do just a, a third colour just to give it a little bit of interest. Okay. So into this cup, I'm just going to put four drops of the Atelier Flow. Whoops, ready, four. And I'm going to mix that thoroughly. Now, when you pull the color if it drops off the paddle pop stick and it's still a little bit translucent, just put a little bit more paint in there. So we'll just put another couple of drops. And mix that thoroughly. So that's a bit of opaque colour. So that's one. I'm going to mix white into this one. Mixing thoroughly because when you pour it, you don't want any of the pigment being separated. your second colour and I'm just going to dive in here and get the black. And this is less so I'm only going to put two to three drops into that one. But we 
want it to be nice and black, so I'll just put another drop in. You can always add colour, but if you put too much colour in with the resin, um, you'll find that you'll lose a bit of your gloss. And also, when you use the torch, it might actually um, ignite a little bit, so it's best not to use too much pigment. Okay. Whoops. It is non-toxic, but I just tend to use gloves because it is very sticky. Okay, so the first one I'm going to do is the board. So I have previous or previously taped the back of it. Because it's self-leveling, it's going to roll off the edges um, until it gets to its level. Now when you're actually setting up, make sure you put plastic down. I use just little shot glasses to keep it up off the table. And I've taped the back. I've taped the back on both of them. So I'm just going to pour the red first. And then I'm going to come back in with the white. Now at this stage, I'm just going to move the product around just making sure I get a nice coverage Okay, I'm just going to stop there and then I'm going to hit that with the blow torch. Just put a little bit more white on here. It's got a bit of a gap. At this stage you can use the paddle pop stick to draw back into it. Um, or you can just use the blow torch to move it. Okay, taking one of the gloves off. And then we're going to just move it quickly over the top just to bring all those bubbles out. At the moment it's quite dull, but once you actually torch it, you'll see the bubbles coming out. You'll get that nice lacing effect that you do with the resin. If there's any sections that you're not happy with, you can come back into it and um, put another glove back on. So you can keep playing with it until you're happy. something that's stuck in there so that could be just a little bit of the pigment that wasn't mixed properly okay and that's it so once that's finished then we all put it um, something over the top of it but if you're not happy and you want to come back in to put other colours in, you can because you have got 45 minutes 
to play with it until it starts to become a bit tacky. So we just put a um, empty box over the top and that will stop any dust from sitting on it or falling on it during the, um, the next few hours. And that box is not quite big enough, so I'll get another one. Okay, so that's your resin.